week, Fernand. Welcome Morning, to the Bonjour. show. How are you? I'm fine. How are you doing, guys? Very, very well, well, thank very, you. Very, Excited. Very, Jeez, very only heavy weeks here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you need sparring? <laughs> no, okay. I will shoot this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have a chance to be a wise choice. <laughs> <laughs> Take on the little one. Fair enough, my man. Listen, obviously, this is a huge event here in Las Vegas, Fernand. Preparations for this. For it. So, talk, so talk to a. The, the difference in preparations for this fight compared to what it was like when you were taking on Francis the last time for the, ch- for the championship? Okay. Uh, the first thing is about talking. We talk a lot on this camp, starting from the loss, talking about the loss. Because uh, Cyril was feeling a little bit bad. Like, um, I just want to let you know that I didn't quite listen, I didn't make sh- I didn't take that serious when you said to me that Francis could be a trade on the wrestling. I knew, but the, I was more focused on the nuke that he had on, on hands. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, yeah, I mean, you're right. I mean, who can blame you for that? Because uh, this guy can just switch things off, you know. And so we start to doing the mental preparation with his coach, and he wanted to uh, have me in the mental preparation. So we did like three of us walking Usman is a very great coach on mental preparation and did that with us. Like talking about uh, the you know the the mo- the word that I should use and how I should use to make him understand what I want and which way to do that and we will be working together. That's one of, one big part of this training. Like because of the time mm-hmm. like even for Jones and for us we only have seven weeks. Mm-hmm. So He's cerebral, he's intelligent. We can work a lot on video, visualization, audition, listening, and we talk a lot on this game. This is one of the things that we did. And the second thing is that I just noticed right away that he wanted to become, let go that dog that is saying. He's saying that I always had that dog on the Muay Thai. But when I come in the MMA, because of the lack of wrestling, you teach me how to move and how to avoid wrestling. I become soft. But that dog can be there anytime if you want. So that's what we're doing. We, 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 we will try to keep moving. Mm-hmm. But when the shit hits the fence, you will be there. like a butterfly? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sting like a bee, perhaps? I check what you said. <laughs> <laughs> and then you said that you don't see how this city can pull this out because you yeah. will have to be that, do that 25 minutes. And uh, you said that uh, the, at some point you will get tired. And uh, But I think we prepare for that. Yeah, to, yeah, to, yeah. To, to keep moving that, that thing. And, uh, and when we will need to face the wrestling part, we just have to do that not long. If we do that long, that may be a problem yeah, in the yeah. end. But if we can use that power time and then move around, that can be great. It's funny that you... Not, not funny. It's interesting that you yeah. talk so much about the talking in the camp and the yeah. mental aspect. Because when I was training, yeah, of course, the physical side of things is very important. Yeah. But a lot of my best training was done when my coach, Jason Perillo, and I would sit down afterwards. I'd be covered in sweat. Yeah. And we would talk about the fight. And we'd talk yeah. about the strategies. And talk about the emotions inside yeah. the head and coming off a loss and coming off a defeat and how to... Because you're battling your own mental demons as well, not only your opponent. So it's really, really interesting to hear you say that. But regarding the wrestling side of things, what has been the, the physical side? Well, we brought uh, this guy, Gaziev. He's uh, Farin Ares, um, friends. He's from Dagestan. And he's fought recently in Brave FCF. So mm-hmm. huge guy, very good on wrestling. That was the first sparring that we brought. And we brought right. this guy, Zelim Khan. Heavyweight in French national team, uh, six-time French champion, very good, very fast. And we work on that. And um, also, people that tend to... Oh, thank you very much, Ian Gary. <laughs> Being heckled by I, Ian Gary. I just get out of bed like this, mate. You know, when you're blessed, you're blessed. What can I tell you? I am so beautiful. Sorry, Fernando. You're beautiful. But I am a Indeed. beautiful man. We have to Indeed. celebrate this. That's true. Oh my That's God. True. And um, and we brought this kid, this kid um, for the striking, uh, but what is good is that people do they expect Siri to try to f- have a sparring heavy, but it's not worry. We, we we try to be the 
speed and the quicker that we can. And in order to have that, we just have to have someone who can kick very well, move very well, elbow very well, knee very well. And and Imad is doing that. This this guy from this kid is from Glory, and he's been playing every time that every time that you just touch the knee of Sirigan, you score a point. That's the game. No matter if you're a kicker, if you touch his knee, you score the point. So Cyril will manage the distance, strike like with a, one of the best strikers out there, but know that if the guy touches point, yeah. that means that John Jones. No, 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 it's, it's mm-hmm. a good training technique. Mm-hmm. You know, you're here, and if you la- just touch your leg, yeah, yeah, that's, that's the takedown. So I, let me ask you with these great training partners, sorry to hog it, Nick, mm-hmm. with the great training partners and the yeah. wrestlers, is he stopping the takedowns? Is he keeping it on the feet? Is he dictating his game? He's stopping them so much that I'm scared of his confidence because when you start to stop that kind of guy, you might be over. Like, to be honest with you, uh, we, I'm asking him. Please disengage. You stop him, that's good, but don't don't think that you can catch up all that years of wrestling. Make sure that when you stop that, you will move around. Don't stay there with this guy. Because in the end of the day, that's what happened with Connor. Connor stopped the takedown or carry, but at, he eventually get tired and then go went in the ground and lost the fight. So I don't want you to try to play the wrestler. I want you to stop that takedown, hurt him, and go back on your feet and start to punch him in the face. That's it. Love it. The a lot of chat this week, of course, about John Jones, the greatest, the goat. He's back. But it's been a long time since he performed the way people like to romantically yeah. remember him performing. His last three yeah. defences at light heavyweight were all points decisions, yeah. questionable decisions, flat performances. Which version of John Jones are you focusing on? The guy we've seen recently or the guy who was at his best 10 years ago? No, if, if you want to be smart, you better focus on the best John Jones. I mean, this, if, if I want to make sure that I don't let any turn on, uh, any stone on turn, I'm, I need to make sure that we will, I, I need to assume that we will face the best John Jones. The reality is that the time is captured up a little bit, and I don't know how much, but um, we're expecting the best John Jones. And what people have to keep in mind is that John Jones, as, as well as Cyril, they are people who's very smart. They don't need the kinesthesia kinesthesi to, to learn. Mm-hmm. They, they, they can learn on, on YouTube. They can learn listening to someone. It's been focused like three years, listening, watching TV, watching heavyweights. So don't count that out. It can be something very heavy. I know that Cyril, I will just send him a technique but the, the day before the training. The next training, when we arrive, he do that twice and he just masterize everything. They are very good. So I think that um, John Jones is still good. Mm-hmm. A dream for a coach. Dream for a coach. Listen, Fernand, thank you so much for your Pleasure. time. Yeah, Enjoy pleasure. the next 24 hours. We're looking forward to this. Good pleasure tomorrow, to sir. have me. Good, good luck to the whole team. Thank you, sir. All right. Take care, Fernand. Take your time. Take care. Boom. Uh, Fernand Lopez. Uh,